Hello guys and welcome to uh, the last tutorial of SafeFlow 2.0 add-on of Blender um, for what regards designing a sail from zero to the very end. So today we are going to describe how you can report on your sail clothes that you have ordered uh, online or whatever you bought it, uh, the design of your panel such as you can later on stitch them together. Let's go to to Blender and where I have already my sail uh, put it on. Um, let me put it in a way we can see it. Okay, this is the sail. You see that is the sail we have designed in the previous uh, tutorial. <coughs> I don't go through that bit again. And I go to um, edit mode, pressing tab, and then I develop uh the entire i develop the entire sale right so all the panel have appeared so i can re remove from visibility the sale this is all my panel and i need to print them out uh, the way to 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 print uh, the um, the sale is that you of course you are an amateur and you don't have a plotter a professional plotter at your disposal uh, therefore, the way to do it is to report manually the measure of the panel, of the up and down of the panel, the bottom and top part of one panel, and then use a bar of wood uh, properly banded using some items to, bend, to, to keep it banded to draw a line to connecting them. Uh, to explain the process, uh, I have here uh where is it i can go to the slide um, not here just a sec <coughs> to do that you you basically report on the say clause which is represented by this uh, rectangular or uh, blue border you you report the distance between the point that you're going to to plot i mean it can be 10 centimeters can be 20 can be 30 can be 40 we'll see in a second and once you've done that and the tool provides you with a number you just report the number on the on the cloth by putting the points like that and afterwards you join the points and then you have the pine design on the cloth and you can cut it more in practice when I made a 3D view of it <coughs> you see here on the on the right side let's see if the mouse appears here we have all these uh, uh, distances already drawn those can be 10 20 30 centimeter as I said before then there is this piece of wood flexible piece of wood thin piece of wood depending how much thin you want and something to hold the, the, the wood in place so once I plot all the all the dots to every reference the zero the 10 the 20 centimeter in this case i put the wood in a way that he goes along the line and i can draw a line with a pencil through those dots as i do now and i do it from the bottom and the lower part and then i have a nice smooth curve I draw the two lateral lines and I put the tape on one of the two sides where the next panel will overlap with and where my stitches will be. This is fundamental. The tool does not design, does not put in what is called the seam allowance, which is this overlap between panels. It is done by putting the tape on the sail cloth once you have designed the panel. Once you have done that, then you can cut the panel away, including the tape. And that will give you automatically the double-sided tape, sorry, if I didn't mention before. And this gives you automatically the seam allowance you need. And later on, <coughs> when you have an additional panel, okay, here's not the best uh, design I could have made, but the you see the la here you we have one panel here we have another panel you overlap you you remove the protection of the double sided tape you you tape them together and you stitch them so that that's the way to do it so as i said <coughs> 
the reference on the sail cloth can be 10, 20, and 30, and 40, or more centimeter. What, what's the difference? How you choose? Well, if I take this panel, for instance, where am I? I'm in edit mode. Okay, if I take this panel, for instance, this panel, let's, let me put it aside for a second. This panel does not have a lot of curvature, except here. I mean, it's mostly a straight line. I don't really need a lot of references to make a line, uh, to, to be sure that I, I follow this curve. So the distance between the reference can be quite large. To know whether I'm putting enough uh, distance, if the distance is not too large between the reference, I have this show outline only uh, option, which will show you here as, a, as one of the objects of Blender, how those dots will look like when they are plotted on the circles. So let's suppose I take this panel, <coughs> I move it away, but for the tools, um, um, it's, it's still here. Okay, it's a small technical detail, but don't worry about it. And then I said that I want to have a reference done every, suppose, 10 centimeter, okay? And then I, print a I, I click Print ASCII. Actually, it will not make a file at the moment because I said I ticked in the option Show Outline Only. So let's see what happens. I, I click and what it does, it creates this, which is a separate object called test, which show me what are, how the dot look like once they're plotted. Okay, I can move the dot on top of the, on top of the panel to see how they look. The tool draws the corners plus the other dot every 10 centimeter. In fact, for this reason, you see there are two very close to each other dots here because one is a corner and the other is every 10 centimeter, uh, the every 10 centimeter um, dot. <coughs> and I would say that this is more than enough. I can have, let's say, a larger distances between dots, which will make my life easier. I will have to draw last point on my cell cloth. If you don't mind drawing the point, it's fine with me, you leave it at 10 centimeter. But in this case, uh, I remove this, and as an example, I will put it as if every 40 centimeter, okay? I click the panel, I click print ASCII, but with the option show outline only, and this is the new outline. I would say that probably this is good enough, also because the tools automatically put a dot <coughs> around corners so that's what will be okay so next step is that i remove the show outline only i select the panel again and i say print ascii i go to a specific folder and i call it this was the panel six panel six print ascii okay let's see how this looks like it is a panel six here. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot. Oh, my mouse doesn't appear anymore. I forgot to call it uh, um, dot text. Okay, if I call it dot text extension dot text, I see how it looks like. You see, I have all the coordinate every forty centimeter, which start from. 407 because the first corner is at 001. Okay, this is probably a, something I could fix, but and on the on the top top part I have the points which are every 40 centimeter and the, um, after the line corners I have instead the coordinate of the of the corners. Okay, with this uh, piece of instruction, you can do the work I just told you about, and you can make your panels. Okay, so that is for uh, the, for you have to repeat that for all panels and you are okay. Another option that you have, it's something I was using at the very beginning, is to print in PDF. Now, what the, 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 the software will attempt to do, is to print as to divide this panel which is pretty large uh, let, let me see this is uh, okay 
is two by is two by two two by two point three by one point five. Um, is to print this if you select A4 in multiple A4 pages in a way that you print the whole panel in A4 pages then you stitch all this piece of paper you cut and you stitch all this paper together you obtain a big uh, shape in paper of the panel that you can put on your sail clothes <coughs> draw around with your pencil and then you can cut it okay i have did it uh, i have used it like that actually uh, not with an a4 but with a custom uh, with a custom uh, size i found a printer a print shop which was printing very large piece of paper i did that it is interesting uh, when you have to make the same sale over and over again uh, because it, it, this is the, the shape it is stored somewhere you pull it out every time you need to make um, the sale but otherwise after the first or second attempt I have basically only used this system with the dots which I find much more useful it could be that you have a professional plotter and in this case uh, you will have to export in a format which is compatible one of the things which I recommend to do is to go under preferences again go to add on import and export export and being sure you have enabled for instance AutoCAD DX, DXF format which is let's say one of the most uh, common uh, also for plotters and then you can select the panel and export it of course the panel at the moment does not have sim allowance as described because the, me the method that I suggested does not uh, expect you to create sim allowance to create a sim allowance, what I suggest to do is that you move and rotate your panel in a way to put the border that you want to create a sim allowance from horizontal with respect to the x-axis as, as I did here. Then you go to edit mode and the things you want to do is to select this first set of edges and to do that you go to select edges mode you click on the first and then control click on the last and you see that probably you have seen it has been illuminated the whole line the whole connected edges are selected then you press E for extrude and then you give a direction which will be Y because it's a, the green axis the vertical one in this case is the y-axis so you press y and then you type for how much you want that to be extruded extruded which is your sim allowance so let's suppose you have a sim allowance of a couple of centimeters which in meter is 0 0.02 so I type 0 0.02 and voila press enter I have my sim allowance once I've done that tab to go back to object mode I go to file export export in dxf okay and he asking where i want to export it fine <coughs> the last bit of it is just for the fun of it is to print in pdf now the uh, feature to print in pdf allow you to print a very large panel in multiple pages uh, of smaller size if you do that you have for instance a panel which is two meter uh, distributed along 10 a4 pages probably by 4 so you have like uh, 40 a4 pages then you can uh, um, cut them cut cuts around the, the the borders stitch them all together you will see if you do it and then you have one very large piece of paper with the shape of your panel that you can put back on your sail clothes to have the final shape I have used this for small sale at the very beginning a couple of times but at the end I find it much more useful the, the method which I just described so I just abandoned and I had the idea actually to remove this from the tool one thing for which is still useful is that if you want to print your sale the, your panels uh, in a small size in paper and then glue them together to have an idea how in 3D your sale will look like and I explain briefly how you have to do it 
you take one panel at a time I could start for, ex for instance from the top one okay and that has to fit in an A4 pages how do I know it will fit in A4 pages but I can create one I can do and press shift A create a plane which is created as the origin Oh, no, it's here <coughs> I go to item which is at the moment 2 meter by 2 meter okay and I want to have it in not 2 meter by 2 meter but <coughs> uh, 21 centimeter by uh, I think it's 25 centimeter okay so this is the size of energy um, A4 paper so let's move it let's move it somewhere so I know that if my panel one is resize, resized fits here it also fits in an A4 pages okay very well so I take this panel I go here more or less here I press S for resize and I resize it now I know for experience now because I've tried before that if I resize by 0 0.1 in all axis it will be okay so I go here sorry let me press ctrl z so it back it goes back and <coughs> I want to come here and I say I want a scale of 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 since it is flat it doesn't have any z um, dimension leave it here one or any other number doesn't mean doesn't change anything so as we see it fits perfectly okay so what i have to do now is to go to safe law uh, print pdf this panel is called panel you see i've done some attempts before before making this video so the name are already there let me close uh, the pdf viewer otherwise it will create a lot of mess <coughs> when i try to save and I say panel, print PDF, and it does it. So I can repeat it for every panel. So panel 01, uh, I press S for size and then 0 0.1. Okay, I know already the proportion. It does fit, I don't need to rotate it further. Therefore, I simply say print PDF. <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, panel 1 PDF, print. For something longer like panel 6 for instance what i have to do i have to say um, size 0 0.1 okay it become very small let me move it in the a4 page okay it does not fit when it's horizontal so i press rotate and probably it does fit with when it rotate probably high typed in the a bit smaller the a4 page i know that it fits okay so i i rotate it then i say print pdf this is a panel six uh, okay i didn't make it before so panel six print pdf okay and i repeat for everything for all so if you want now to if you want now to know how it looks like this is panel 6 I just created let me open it again let me open it and here it is this is a panel <laughs> In incidentally this is a panel where I create a small allowance you repeat for all panels then you cut you stitch together and you have your sale Okay guys, that's it for today. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy. I hope you are using this and the other tutorial to design your new sale. Let me know. Let me comment in the, in the comment below. Okay, thank you again. Have a nice one.